Hello everyone, welcome to Course Screen. After manufacturing, what is the most important step we have to follow to get a good quality product or a product which should lie under acceptance criteria. So here in this video, we are going to discuss the most important step to get a good quality product after manufacturing. But before going to start, if you have not subscribed the channel, subscribe it immediately. If you like the video, press the like button or press the bell icon so you will get all the notification related to activities of channel. So far we have learned about welding. Welding is a secondary manufacturing process. So we have learned basic concepts about welding like introduction, different types of welding, description of each and every type, how to design a weld joint, then how, how many types of welding defects we have to consider or uh, different concepts related to welding defects. So we have learned different terms related to welding. Now the product which we are getting after welding is that product a good quality product or the product which we are getting after welding is lying under acceptance criteria how we can identify this in this video we are going to learn so in this video we are going to learn about visual inspection before during and after welding visual inspection is a most important step to identify the quality of product whether the product is lying in uh, acceptance criteria or not so visual inspection is one of the method to check the quality of weld product to obtain a good quality product after welding the process should be properly performed by the welder as well as it should be properly inspected by the inspector Visual examination or visual inspection is one of the method by which an inspector can identify about the quality of weld, uh, the proper setup of the process. He can identify defects like cracks, positions of defects relative to various zones of weld and uh, orientation of weld metal or the orientation of parent metal surface porosity, extent of penetration, presence of slag, oxide film, shielding gases, presence of notches, misalignment, etc. So, the visual inspection is most important part to identify whether the product quality is good or not. So, this visual inspection is considered as NDT or non-destructive testing where no destruction is involved. And visual inspection should be performed before welding, during welding process as well as after completion of welding. And the first phase of visual inspection is most of the time considered as surface inspection. Surface inspection is the process where we identify whether the surface where we want to do welding is prepared or not. Sometimes surface it's prepared by sand blasting process. Now, what is sand blasting process? So, sand blasting is a process which remove dust, rust and residue of oxidation from material quickly and efficiently from surface of the base metal. So, now let's come to the basic steps of visual inspection of welding. So, visual inspection is a method to identify flaws on surface of weld. And this visual inspection or testing should be done before welding, during welding and after welding. So let's start with the basic steps which we have to follow in visual inspection before welding or the things which we should be taken care before welding. So there are some typical action which need attention before welding process. And these steps I'm going to explain here one by one. So the first point is, the drawing and specifications must be reviewed before welding. So here we should be take care of weld design. If we have a proper weld design and the drawing of weld which we have to prepare. So the drawing and the specification should be reviewed before welding. Now the second step is you should check complete procedure of welding process what kind of welding process we are going to perform or what steps are necessary to perform that particular welding process like uh, gas tungsten uh, arc welding 
or gas metal arc welding or shielded metal arc welding whatever welding process we are going to perform here and for which material we are going to perform or what, for what design we are going to perform so whatever procedure is going to use in that process that should be thoroughly checked now the next step is we should review the raw material the raw material like welding rod shielding gases backing etc so the raw material completely reviewed before welding then we need to check the base metal also the surface of the base metal should be properly finished or the surface if the surface is having any discontinuity so we should take some corrective action to get the finished surface then we should check all the fittings and alignment so this is the most critical part of the welding process there are some points which must be checked before welding uh, to check the fittings and alignments like groove angle root opening joint alignment backing etc so the fittings and alignment should be checked properly before performing the welding now next is surface and tool should be properly cleaned now this is also very very important step the surface should be free from rust oil grease there should not be any kind of cracks so we need to check the surface cracks notches irregularities these should be if we are finding these kind of things so it should be corrected before welding now next most important step is the welder should be skilled and experienced if the welder is unskilled so it can create discontinuities in the welding process or in the weld joint that can affect the quality of the product and the next step is there should be a proper setup for recording result so whatever welding process we are performing it should have different steps and uh, these different steps will have different types of recordings so there should be a proper set up for recording the result of the process now coming to the visual inspection during welding process so here i am going to discuss the basic important steps which we need to perform during welding process or the point we should be take care during welding process so one by one i am going to explain here so in this category the first point is the joint root preparation should be proper or as per design so whatever weld design we have as per that design we have already checked the drawing and specification to perform the welding now here the preparation for the joint root it should be proper while performed now next is the root bed quality we have to check the quality should be proper otherwise it can create different kind of discontinuities and it can affect the quality of weld now the next step is if the preheating is required then we need to check the temperature also as well as temperature of inner pass also sometime abnormal temperature can cause shrinkage and other types of defects so the corrective action must be planned accordingly if we are facing any kind of discontinuity so we should be prepared for the corrective actions also now next is there are different terms like heat input voltage current welding speed power source these should also check these steps must be checked during the welding process now next is the inner pass cleaning is also required to check the inner pass cleaning must be checked properly during welding now the next step is related to slag and oxide film so the removal of slag and oxide film must be completed timely if we are not removing slag timely it will get solidify with the weld metal and we cannot remove afterwards or after solidification which can affect the quality of product the shape and size of the groove must be altered to allow suitable access of the surface so these are the steps which are involved in visual inspection during welding now let's see the basic steps of visual inspection we need to check after welding process or the points we should be taken care after welding process in visual inspection so one by one i am going to discuss here so first we need to check the final weld size the weld size should be checked after welding process now next is 
we should check the weld appearance final weld appearance should be checked then what is the weld length uh, we are getting after welding so weld length should be checked then we need to check dimensional accuracy then we need to check about the distortions and what is the amount of distortion if the distortion is happening then we need to check any post heating is required or any heat treatment processes are required uh, after welding the next step is uh, check on discontinuities or defects like porosity undercut slag inclusion overlap etc so these point must be taken care after welding process during visual inspection to get a good quality product so here we have seen the basic steps involved in visual inspection before during and after welding now let's talk about the equipment used for the visual inspection so the equipments used for visual inspections are direct remote and translucent so the direct inspection is uh, mainly checking manually with the use of basic light and basic equipments now if we talk about remote inspection so remote means by using equipments like telescopes fiber optics cameras etc so this is called remote inspection or equipments which is used for remote inspection now we talk about translucent so translucent means by using illuminator and artificial lighting to check whether the product is having proper quality or not so this was all about the basic steps involved in visual inspection to get a good quality product after welding so hope this information is beneficial for you you can share this video with your friends and your known people for their benefit hope this information is beneficial to get a good marks in curriculum exams as well as in competitive exams like gate and ese if you like the video press the like button if you have not subscribed it subscribe the channel immediately and you can share this with your friends and your known people so thank you so much see you in next video